hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time here my name is Dillion and on my space here i talk about tech career and about life and in today's special video i'll be sharing my story of how i got my first software engineering job so in my list here i'll be covering the first thing i'm covering is the things i did before applying for my job or while i was applying for the job how I saw the job application, how I came across it, how I applied, and after application, what I did next to get the job. So before I start with this, I want to give this disclaimer. I'm not putting out this video here to create a standard of how things should work, of how people should get jobs. This is just one way amongst many other ways that many other people have been applying to get jobs or to to get qualified for jobs but this is just my own story this is just what worked for me and in as much as I know that this cannot work for everybody or this may not work for everybody I know a few persons can pick out lessons from this and start applying it in their application process so without further ado what are the things I did before applying and just like every day out there a common advice we hear is keep practicing keep building keep putting your work out there you gain some sort of recognition such that when you're applying for jobs people can root for you and even your recruiters can really know what you are capable of unlike me at the time when i started applying i didn't have a major project to hold on to i mean the project i had were like cli tools things i built with node.js and these things didn't really show how much experience i had as a front-end engineer so i didn't really have much project at my hand but then there was this particular personal project more like a small startup i am building with a partner and when I realized how helpful these projects can be in application process, I spent, I invested so much of my time building the project. I was building it for two reasons. The first goal was, of course, a normal goal of a startup to succeed. And then the second goal of building it so actively was so that when I'm applying for jobs, I could put something in. This is what I've worked on and I could at least be qualified in a way so i i was working on such on that project and then i applied for jobs and i actually got pretty good feedbacks oh this is amazing i love the idea i love this i love that but 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 there is always a but there is always an unfortunately i wasn't getting in but i still kept on building my project even though at the time i began questioning myself imposter syndrome and all is this really working for me why isn't it working for me why don't people want to see what i am made of but i didn't get in into any of those jobs but those were the things i did and those are the things i would still recommend people continue doing now how did i see the job application so the particular job and that's where i currently work by the way the CEO posted on Twitter, that's why I will always continue to love Twitter because Twitter is full of opportunities, the ones you can see, even the unforeseen opportunities. She posted on Twitter that the company was hiring, they were hiring a React.js developer and a DevRel person. Now I saw that opportunity very inciting for me because as a content creator, I love teaching. So I saw it as a job where I don't just get to write code, build websites, but I also get to teach people, relate with users, explain tools and libraries. I shot my shot and I applied via email and this was my application. Dear hiring manager, I came across this job posting on Twitter. I'd love to show you why you need me. <laughs> I love teaching and I've done this as a technical writer. I shared few of my few of the platforms I've written on. And then I know my craft, I know JavaScript and React, and I also shared my school math project. I always included this project in every of my application because that was the only project I could hold on to to show my experience. I'm interested in this opportunity because I don't only get to learn, grow, and work with amazing people, but then I'll also be able to teach, which I'm very passionate about. And that was it for the application. So I applied, and six days later, yeah, that's six, I get this reply, hi there, 
we are looking for someone with more experience but please feel free to check back later and thank you for taking the time to apply one more rejection i mean like rejections were not enough this job seemed like the perfect job my dream job i don't only code i also get to teach write articles do videos and whatnot so the last thing on my list was or is what did i do next and i think this is the main this is the most important part of this video this is why i'm actually creating this video and i'm sorry it's like six or five minutes into the video but then here it is so i replied thank you so much for getting back to me uh, please help me out with information on where i need to work on or what exactly disqualified me and i get this reply it's simply the years of experience that you have and at that point i was i wasn't sure okay i had roughly two years of experience as at last year july so i was you know confused i was like okay so are you trying to say i cannot work here and you know i felt like okay another rejection i'll have to deal with it but then i didn't stop there I went on and I said, thanks for the feedback. Well, except for the years of experience, which is something your team is very particular about. Or I appreciate the opportunity of showing how much knowledge I've acquired. You know, like, test me with something. And that was very brave of me. And I'm always proud of that decision. I mean, at that point, I would have taken my rejection and eaten it like that. But then I still persisted. And I asked for an exercise. But the thing with the exercise was, although the manager agreed to give me the exercise, but the exercise was not really a pass this exercise and we employ you. It was more of a, okay, you have applied and just to appreciate your energy or just to appreciate your application, we are going to send you reviews on your project so you know where to work on. And they gave me an exercise and that was the first time I coded straight for 12 or 13 hours straight. I didn't sleep. I only went to take water. And I finished the project because I actually thought the project was like a determinant, was a factor for, you know, getting me into the company. But it was only after I realized that it was just to send me reviews. It wasn't really a pass and get in. So I finished up the project and the team looked at it and they gave me their reviews. They reviewed the code. I appreciated them. I thanked them so much for the opportunity. So everything lasted until the 24th of August. And at that point, I felt like, okay, another rejection. And I think that was still August. A week after 24th I guess there was another opening the same company I saw it on Twitter again and the CEO was like we're looking for a junior developer and she also said it explicitly if you have applied before don't be scared to apply again you can still apply and I shot another shot I know when I shot that shot I felt like at least this time they'll be seeing my email for the second time so at least they should consider me you know it almost looked like I was desperate and in as much as I know I was desperate because I felt I, I actually had this understanding that I would grow better when I'm working with people not when I'm working on my own building my own project I felt I would grow better when I have people reviewing my code you know learning from senior engineers and stuff like that so that was really why I wanted a job if not as at the time I had a I had writing contract that could actually sustain me and my expenses at that particular time in my life but I just needed a job where I would get to learn from people so I was as much as I was, I looked persistent, I was a bit desperate to get in a job, not just at this company, but just getting a job where I get to learn from people. So I shot my shot again. And when I shot my shot, I expected the feedback. One week, no feedback. Two weeks, no feedback. And I felt like, <sighs> okay, I move. And then it was just until the 2nd of September the CEO reached out to me directly telling me of the job that they had for me that was really the most beautiful moment of my life and I was surprised 
and she asked if we could have an interview the next day and I took it for the interview and in the interview she said I am reaching back to you again because I was really admired by your persistence how you kept following up and following up and refusing to give up and that's why I'm presenting you with this opportunity and right there in the interview it wasn't even more like a technical interview it was just more like a can you do this can you do that can you do this okay these are the things you'll be doing when you get in and the email came 2nd of September the interview was on the 3rd of September and I started working for the company on the 4th of September so of course build projects practice show off show off projects you do on Twitter online but be persistent show companies how really interested you are in working with them show them how much their culture appeals to you I like how your company is remote I said it explicitly in my application your company is remote that's one of the reasons why I love it so much show them how much you love their culture show them that interest and who knows you may just be sharing a similar story something slightly similar or it may just work for you the way it worked for me so yes that's it for this video it wasn't really much of a an algorithm i had algorithms i had built this built that i had five stages of application no mine was not exactly straightforward but easier for me so yes that's it that's how i got my first and my current job so if you like this kindly like this video kindly share with your friends share the spirit of persistence and let me know of your testimonies in the future